So, what do you do if you have a whole bunch of lacrosse balls and an extra unicycle wheel? Well, if you're anything like me, then you'll try and put them together and see what happens. So, the first thing I did were, was bore out holes in the lacrosse ball, so when I put the screws in holding it to the wheel, it, they wouldn't hit the ground when I rode. And then I repeated it over and over and over and over again. And next, I had to drill holes into the lacrosse ball so the screws would fit in it. And I did this over, and over, and over again. Once all the holes were drilled in the lacrosse balls, then I was ready to fit them with washers and screws. With all the lacrosse balls fitted with the hardware, then I was ready to put them onto the rim. I had to drill holes into the rim, which made me kind of nervous, but it seemed to work out all right. I could only do one at a time to, so I could figure out the spacing of the lacrosse balls. I had no idea if the lacrosse balls would fit evenly around the rim or if I would end up with a gap in, in between where I couldn't actually fit a full lacrosse ball. All I could do was put them together and see what happened. The last lacrosse ball to put on. It's going to be a tight squeeze, but I believe that I've actually symmetrically put them all in. See, it's tight right there. So I think I can spread them apart just a little bit. ta -da! And with all the lacrosse balls fitted to the rim, I was finally ready to put it on the frame. There was only one problem. The lacrosse balls were too big to fit through the frame. I couldn't turn the wheel. Fortunately, I had another unicycle frame I could try and fit to the wheel. But the question was, would this other frame be big enough to accommodate the lacrosse ball? Most of them would go through. Then the ones that don't, I think I can go back and I can just push it down. Fortunately, it worked. I was ready to give it a shot. All right, here we go. Let's cross our fingers. It was a lot of work, a lot of time. Well, here we go. Working. Kind of bumpy. It's a little sketchy. Working. Riding on the cross wall. Woo! So describe how it feels when you ride it. It feels very bumpy. And when I turn, it feels like it wants to just slide out, but it doesn't. It's like I'm, literally feels like I'm riding on lacrosse balls. All right, I got one more thing I want to try. I'm going to try riding it down the stairs with the lacrosse balls on the tire. See what happens. We're good, we're solid. All right, well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Do It On A Unicycle. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Do it on a unicycle. 
All right, let's see what these lacrosse balls look like after all this, if they did any damage or anything like that. Looks like maybe the rims pressed in a little bit, but I think that's actually how it was when I screwed them down. Looks pretty good there. Really, the only noticeable change to the lacrosse balls from me riding is the, the dirt on the top of them. That is it. Well, I don't know. Maybe I've found a good replacement for, uh, for tires and tubes. You don't go flat with lacrosse balls.